Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I hope you are all well. I'm doing a really nice, easy, light-hearted one today. Just a Christmas tag. So I got the tag from So Helena and Martin's channel. I'll link their channel below if you want to have a little nose. You probably know who they are already. If you enjoy like days out in the UK, Disney, general day in the life videos. Um, to be honest, if you just enjoy watching lovely people, then they are your people to watch. The channel is very addictive and they have loads of tag videos and I'm lazy and I just get my tags from their channel. So the first question is, what is your favorite holiday movie? So I've already answered this if you watched Vlogmas Day three I think it was um, of all the like my favorite Christmas films and my answer is The Holiday. It just can't be beaten in my opinion. It's my absolute favorite. I could go on all day talking about how much I love it. It's the best film ever. Question two is what is your favorite Christmas color? I didn't really have to think about this. The answer is red. Um, it's the first color that comes to mind when, when I think about Christmas, Santa Claus and everything. I mean, I'd love to wear like big red oversized jumpers, red scrunches in my hair, red lipstick. Like, yeah, it's just a jolly color, isn't it? It's got to be red. Number three is do you like to stay in your PJs all day or dress up for Christmas? Hmm, my, a bit hard for me. My answer is a bit of both. Um, I love wearing loungewear and pyjamas um, and everything. And as long as my hair and makeup's done and I'm wearing loungewear, I actually feel quite done up and I feel fine in that. Um, but on Christmas Day, I suppose I would feel like a bit of a slob if everyone else was dressed up and I was in loungewear. So I would have to say dressed up on Christmas day. I do usually dress up. There hasn't really been a Christmas day where I've stayed in my loungewear all day. For me, the whole Christmas PJ thing is more like for Christmas Eve. Like we have our Christmas Eve photo always taken and we have like matching Christmas Eve family pajamas. Um, so yeah, for me, that's more of a Christmas Eve thing to, to, to be in the Christmas pajamas. Number four is if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? I think that's quite tough. I've got two children. I can't choose between them. To be honest, they don't need presents. Like, I'm stressing to everybody not to buy them any presents this year. My young uh, eldest, sorry, only had his birthday two months ago and our living room is overrun with presents, as is their room. And then my um, other little boy has his birthday around eight weeks after Christmas. So yeah they don't necessarily need any Christmas presents I mean they're three and one the eldest one is only starting to understand Christmas he wouldn't be too upset would he I don't know um I suppose I'm going to have to say my husband because he always works really hard for us and he's been working really hard for us this year um and he just gets on with it question number five is do you open your presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning who opens their presents on Christmas Eve? I'm sorry, I open my presents on Christmas Day. I know some people have a sneak peek on Christmas Eve. I'm pretty sure my brother used to open his presents at midnight. Um, but no, Christmas morning, everyone together. Um, I think Christmas Eve, that just spoils it a bit, doesn't it? I don't know, always Christmas morning for me. Number six is, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yes, I think for the past couple of years, we've done gingerbread houses with our eldest son, I think last year we built a gingerbread house and we all sat around the table and did it. And I think the year before we did as well, but it would have obviously only been me and Dan because Luca wouldn't have really been able to do much. But I'm sure he was there watching and like, yeah, I think, yeah, we do. And we're planning to do one this year as well. Number seven is what do you like to do on your Christmas break? Um, I'm guessing it's like Christmas traditions and then the run up to Christmas and everything. If you watched my Vlogmas Day 1, you will see some things on there because I just talked about the stuff and um, the kind of things that we do. So we like to go to a couple of Christmas um, markets. We also go to Milton Keynes Shopping Centre every year just because we love their Christmas decorations and I just, it makes me feel super Christmassy, that shopping centre, I don't know why. Um, I don't think I've ever been to Westfield at Christmas, that's something I'd like to do as well. I'm guessing that looks lovely at Christmas. We also do the Blenheim Christmas Light Trail and Winter Wonderland and we go and see Santa as well at a farm shop. So there's a few things that we do. Number eight is any Christmas wishes. Now I'm gonna be super, super corny here and I'm sorry, I apologize in advance, but my only 
wish always um christmas or non-christmas is for everyone to be happy and healthy yeah that's all i could wish for everybody that i know and love to be happy and healthy always number nine favorite christmas smell for me it's gingerbread i love gingerbread i have gingerbread candles and um me and dan usually light them in an evening and the whole house smells like gingerbread um yeah that's my number one smell i think number 10 is your favorite christmas meal or treat i don't know i just like a traditional christmas dinner and i feel like that's very boring and predictable to say but i can't think of anything else and christmas treat I don't think I really have any Christmas tree. I suppose, like, personally for us, like, we only ever buy boxes of chocolates at Christmas time. We don't buy them any other time of year. Um, so I think I'm going to have to say, like, all the chocolate, like, the celebrations, the quality street, the roses, the heroes, all the boxes of chocolates you buy. The next question, I think it's question 11, I've lost count, um, is what are you doing for Christmas this year? Not 100% sure, we usually have um, family round on Christmas Eve and we do the evening and we have food, drinks and games and that kind of thing. Um, I assume it's happening again this year, we haven't actually had the official conversation where we plan everything out. And Christmas Day, we are planning on having Christmas Day in our house this year, we might venture to see family um, later on in the day or they come to see us or vice versa, at some point we might get visitors and at some point we might leave the house but we are planning on being here for most of the day because it could potentially be our last Christmas in this house. So, um, I think we just felt like having it here this year. Number 12 is what's your favorite holiday drink? I don't think I have a favorite holiday drink. Like the the, the uh, kind of drinks that come to mind when I think of holiday drinks are like um, brandy, eggnog, mulled wine. And unfortunately, I don't like any of them. Like, I just don't like any of them. Yeah, I don't know, a Christmas themed cocktail? Can't even think of one. I do not know. Oh, I know. It doesn't have to be alcoholic, does it? What about a hot chocolate? Because I only ever drink hot chocolate in like the colder months, like autumn, winter. So I can go for hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate. Or like, I do like the, um, the Costa drinks that they bring out, the purple one. You know, like the Costa hot chocolates? Maybe something like that, along those lines. Number 13 is candy cane or gingerbread man. Tough because I like both, but I think I prefer the look of candy canes rather than the taste. They're probably a bit too sweet and sickly for me. Um, so I'm gonna have to say gingerbread man. Number 14 is, what's your favorite Christmas song? Um, there's just so many. Um, it'd be really hard to think of one. I like the old fashioned Christmas songs. I really enjoy like Michael Bublé's version of this beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I really like rocking around the Christmas tree as well. Is that Brenda? I might have to look that up. Brenda Lee. Yeah, so rocking around the Christmas tree. I don't know, I just love that. It reminds me of, I don't know what it reminds me of. It just reminds me of Christmas. No one dancing around a Christmas tree on Christmas day. I just love it. I'd say they're, if I have to choose, I'd say they're my top two. I can't choose between them really. Number 16 is what's the weirdest gift you've ever received. At work once, I did get for Secret Santa. I think it was Secret Santa. Um, like I got like a few things in a bag and one of the things was a um, Bombay Bad Boy, which is the black pot noodle, which is weird maybe to everybody else, but it wasn't weird to me because it's one of my favorite things to eat. So that person knew me well, but to everyone else we were like, oh, you got a pot noodle for Christmas. It's one of the best things that you can get me. Have you ever made a snowman? Um, Yes, I have made a snowman many times when I was younger. Um, I don't think I've made one in my adult life that I can remember, but I'm just trying to think. We had we had snow at the start of the year and there was a snowman made in the back garden, but I wasn't actually involved in that. That was like Daniel and the boys. So I can't even put my name to that. But yes, as a child, loads of times. It's your favorite winter fragrance. In terms of perfume, I don't really have a winter fragrance. I just have fragrances. Um, but I do usually get either Marc Jacobs or Calvin Klein perfume for Christmas. Um, and they just remind me of Christmas because that's what I usually get. Actually, it's Calvin Klein Euphoria. 
which I usually get for Christmas, so I'm gonna go with that. It reminds me of that time of year. My mum usually gets me every single year. 18 is what is at the top of your list this Christmas. Um, I haven't asked for anything, I never do. And my husband, I drive him mad because he asks me what I want for my birthday and for like Christmas every year. And I never ever tell him anything or give him any ideas because that's the truth. Like the truth is I don't really want anything. Like I'm not really um, a materialistic person. I don't feel like I need to have things. I much prefer experiences. Uh, I much prefer knowing that everyone I know and love is happy and healthy and like the gift of having us all together, as cheesy as that sounds. But I just don't really, I don't really want things. I guess I would just wish that, you know, the next year in 2022, everybody I know continues to grow, continues to be healthy, everybody's happy. Number 19 is what is most important to you about the holidays. Um, I've touched on this a few times in this video already, 100% being with family and friends. Um, there was obviously that time last year when everybody was split up into different tiers and some tiers could see um, family and friends, I think, and then some people just could not at all. Um, that obviously opened everybody's eyes up um, and Christmas is all about family and being with people and just having a good time. So number 20, and I think this is the last question, is what is your favourite Christmas tree decoration? I have a few. I like the decorations that mean something or have a story rather than the ones that you just buy from the shop and end up putting on the tree. So we have a little um, snowman decoration. It says Luca on it. And we bought it from the Blenheim Palace gift shop after we went into the Blenheim um, Palace light trail. And that was the first time we took Luca there and he'd only just started to walk. So he was tottering around. I remember it really well. And we went and bought that decoration afterwards. Um, I think the year after we went back and this time we had Tio with us and we um, went into the gift shop and his name wasn't actually on any of the decorations. So I think we brought the blank one and we wrote his name um, ourselves and he had a reindeer one. So I love that as well. So they've all got their own. We also bought one for Ace. So we bought a blank one and wrote Ace's name on it and that's on our tree. And also a decoration that is the newest decoration we've got actually. Um, bought it from Disneyland Paris Walt Disney Studios park so when you sort of first go into the park the shop that's on the left by the front lot and they have a christmas section um i'll show you that decoration actually so here she is isn't she just lovely i mean she's very she's quite plain and understated i mean can you see that i'll make her do a little twirl there's nothing um like crazy about it but it's always going to remind me now of our first um trip to Disneyland Paris or four of us so that's it the questions are all done I've come to the end and um, the more and more I've been looking in my viewfinder I just think today I'm really looking like I might remind myself of like the Grinch or like one of the Who's one of the people that live in Whoville because the hair and the green I'm just getting those kind of vibes today um which is okay isn't it for Christmas Thank you so much for watching. I'll put the questions in the description below. Um, please like this video if you did and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you for Vlogmas Day. Oh, is that backwards to you? I don't know. Day six, day six. I'll do both ways. I'll see you for Vlogmas Day six. Thanks, bye.